Good morning, successful breastfeeding community. I am feeling some pain in my neck today. I slept hard last night for the first time probably in a week or two because my daughter decided to just be a jerk at night and start waking up again. And last night I finally slept a decent night and it was glorious. But this morning I woke up and I had a pain in my neck and I just it was uncomfortable having a hard time fully rotating my neck the way that I would like to be able to do. And, you know, that pain that I was experiencing in my neck from sleeping wrong was kind of also radiating into like my jaw and my ears. Like I could just feel tightness all in here and down into my shoulders and into my back. It was just kind of hard to move. So I ended up doing some yoga and stretching it out and feeling a lot better. Hey guys, welcome to the live. And, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, once you get into your 30s, sleeping can be treacherous and you can wake up with pain in your neck and then your, that radiates down into your shoulders and into your back and up into your jaw and your head and it can, you know, create tension and migraines and all those things. Well, why am I talking about this? I'm not really coming here to complain, actually. Um, I'm not coming here to complain about the neck pain that I had. I'm coming here to use this as an example because I would bet that many of you had pain with breastfeeding in the very beginning. And um, there's a reason for that. And my example of sleeping wrong and having pain in your neck and shoulders that radiates down into your back and up into your jaw is just an analogy to describe some of the restriction I see in my newborn clients from their babies just getting, you know, cozy in one position in the womb and, oh, hi, Kitty. Um, getting co really cozy in the womb and they get, you know, into their spot that they like to be in towards the end and they can still move around and flip and all of that, but they do get, you know, kind of scrunched up a little bit less room and depending even on their, you know, position that they are in their pelvis before birth, it can also create tension in their muscles and in their body. And what I see very commonly is babies are born with just scrunchy shoulders or they have a little bit of tightness or if they're laying on their belly, we can see their bodies will curve in one way or another just naturally. And if your baby is having a little bit of you know, tightness in their muscles or just restriction in their body related to how they were presented at birth, or what position they chose to cozy up in towards the end of your pregnancy, it can also cause tension in their shoulders, which can cause tension down into their backs, which can cause tension into their necks, into their jaw, right? And it can impact how wide they can open their mouths. It can impact how they suckle at the breast, whether or not their jaw suckles in a rocker motion or if they get kind of crampy and go up and down. Um, so I'm bringing this to your attention because if you, um, are having pain with breastfeeding in the beginning and you're feeling uncomfortable, number one, get support. Please don't suffer through that. Um, there's no need to, you know, grin and bear it and get through it because pain is something that is very common in the early stages, but that doesn't mean that it's typical. It's not normal. Um, so if you are having pain, that's the first place you're going to look is you're going to look at your baby's body and see what's going on. Sometimes we see restriction coming from the tissues inside of their mouth. We'll see oral restriction coming from a tongue tie or a lip tie that needs to be corrected and revised by an ENT or a pediatric dentist. And lip ties, tongue ties do happen, but even more commonly than that, that discomfort, that pain that people often experience in the beginning comes from oral restriction that's happening, not necessarily from a tongue or lip tie, but just from baby being, hi PJ, just from your baby having some muscle restriction, usually because of how they were positioned at birth or how what position they got nice and cozy in before they were born. And some simple solutions for that are, um, in mild cases, letting your baby stretch out, doing some tummy time, some very, very gentle massage that you can do with your baby um, to help them kind of relax and release 
um, the tummy time especially is really important for your newborns because it can help them lengthen out and stretch out. Um, you can also very gently help them kind of move their arms and move their legs, which is also really helpful if they've got gas or anything like that. It also kind of helps just get their body moving. In the womb, when they're suspended in all that amniotic fluid, they can move really easily. But once they're born and that gravity sets in, it's not as easy for them. So sometimes they need our help. And in doing this and helping them get their bodies moving, helping them stretch out, just like I did my yoga this morning when I woke up with pain in my neck and my shoulders, I stretched out my body and guess what? I can turn my head now. I'm not in pain anymore, right? And we can do the same thing for our babies and it can make a tremendous difference when it comes to latching in that newborn phase when you're having pain. Um, now, sometimes we'll see more severe cases of this, and then we're talking about something called portocollis, uh, which is just more intense, more severe restriction in a baby's body. And sometimes that can require some intervention, um, and by that I mean some body work, either with um, a pediatric um, physical therapist that can help work out the body, um, or sometimes a chiropractic is extremely helpful when we have babies that are born restricted um, or cranial psychotherapy is another option very very gentle very effective for releasing fascial restriction which is the um, tissue that gives our body a structure and so if you are about to have your baby keep this in mind or if you very recently have had your baby and you're having pain or discomfort um, that's one place to start, is to start by looking at your baby's body and practicing tummy time regularly, um, periodically throughout your day, um, doing some very gentle massage and helping your baby get moving, get wiggling and all of that good stuff. Um, if you're having pain with breastfeeding and you need support, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and we can take a look at your baby and I can help you get aligned with a position that's going to work for you and your baby because sometimes if there is that restriction happening, it can take a little while for that restriction to release. It can take multiple days sometimes or even longer depending on the severity of the tightness or restriction in your baby's body. Um, so working with a lactation consultant is extremely helpful because you can, in the meantime, while you're working through any tightness or restriction your baby's body might have, you can also work on finding positions that are gonna be more comfortable for you to help you optimize your situation and your scenario and get you guys into a more comfortable, confident place as fast as possible. So if you're having struggles, if you're having pain, if things aren't working, you're concerned, worried, anxious about breastfeeding, reach out for support. You can contact me or find a lactation consultant who can support you nearby. If you guys have questions about this, as always, put them in the comments below and I am happy to answer. And I'd love to know from you, did you guys experience this? Did you find that your baby had a painful latch in the beginning and if you did did you happen to work with an lc who talked to you about restriction in your baby's body i would really love to know um and if you worked with me and you had that experience come comment and tell me let's talk about it let's open this discussion in the group because i feel like this is something that is really not talked about very often with parents so um let's dive into this discussion and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching